Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between the Dream L20 Ultra Robot Vacuum Cleaner and the Roborock S8 Ultra. Here they are on their base stations. We're going to see how they clean up these muddy paw prints and we're going to see how they do on carpet. But first, let's talk about them. Here are the base stations. The Dream has a clean water tank that you're going to put the clean water in. It has a dirty water tank, but it also has a solution bottle. It's going to mix the solution. This is a concentrated solution that it's going to mix with the clean water to, to put in the robot. Over here on the Roborock, we have the clean water tank. It's a little bit smaller and the dirty water tank. Now the clean water tank, you have to manually add the Roborock solution to that yourself. Here's the dust bag that's very easy to change out. And over here on the Dream, there's a little lock. There's the dust bag on the Dream. Now I love the, ro the Dream uh, base station. We've got these buttons here that we can use to control the robot. There's also buttons on the robot and same with the Roborock has buttons only on the robot itself. Okay, so let's compare the two robots themselves. That's the cleaning station. Here's the robot. Now this has a dust bin. It's gonna, when it goes around vacuuming, it's gonna move, put everything in this dust bin. And then when it docks itself, it's gonna suck everything out. It sucks everything out through the brush roller uh, to empty it out into that bag. Let's take a look over here on the Dream. Again, it's got a dust bin. It's gonna put everything in this dust bin. When it's all done, it's gonna uh, vacuum everything out of this little port into that bag on the base station. So they both have LiDAR technology, does a really good job of mapping your house. The Dream has a camera on the front that it will take pictures of your obstacles. Now the Roborock has a sensor, but it does not take a picture of the obstacles that it runs into. Okay, so an area where they're really different is the Dream has rotating mop pads. Now these are just held on with Velcro, but the base unit can take these mop pads on and off. It can pop them off and, on, off and put them in the base station, in which I'm going to show you that in a little bit, but it can take the mop pad off and keep it in the base station. It puts the solution down right there. There's a little hole. It has an onboard tank that the base station fills up with water and solution, squirts the solution on top of the mop pad, gets it nice and wet. And this can also move this mop pad, which I'm, it's got an arm that it can move it out. Over here on the Roborock, you, it's a pad. Now it vibrates. There's two areas where it vibrates right here and here to help um, with cleaning. And it can move the mop pad up and down. And same with the Dream. When the Dream uh, comes to carpet, it can lift these mop pads up to go over it. Two roller blades, drive wheels, and a side brush. Here's the base station. Now they fill that up with water. It spins the mop pads and then it sucks the water out. Now once in a while you do have to clean those out. This one's a little bit different. It's got a pad that goes spins at a high speed. It goes back and forth to clean that mop pad, but it does put water down here and then it sucks it up when it's all done. And once in a while you do have to clean out this tray. Now the Roborock has a blower. They both have a fan that will blow hot air onto the mop pad to dry it. The vents are right here. On the Dream, it's over here. You're going to hear a little fan kick on with hot air blowing right on the mop pads to clean them or to dry them. Now they both have a really nice app that does a good job of mapping your house. You can go in and give each room a label. The red things are no-go zones. You can create schedules. So there's a lot you can do with these apps. Both of them will do vacuum and mop, mop only or vacuum only. And you can do different levels of vacuum and different levels of uh, how much water it's going to put down. Okay, so I've got a very specific room. Let's tell them both to go clean. So both of them are going both of them are going to clean the mop pad first. So what they do is they put a little bit of water on the mop pad. Now the Roborock has to turn around. The Dream does not have to turn around. It can do everything just the way it docks. So the Roborock's going to turn around so that it can clean its mop pad because normally it doesn't dock that way. And what you're going to hear is they, they put some water down there, it spins the mop pads, and then it sucks it back up into the dirty water tank. That's what you're hearing right there. Okay, so the Dream is already done washing its mop pad. The Roborock has to go back and turn around and wash its mop pad. And so it's already started to clean. Got the first paw print up. Yeah, so the Roborock, it's got to wash its mop first. 
And there's that little arm that it can extend to get right up next to the corners. So the Robo Rock, it's washing its mop right now. Again, you'll hear the same thing. It's putting water down there and it spins that brush back and forth. Now, both of them show you um, in real world time what exactly it's doing on the app. We can, this is the dream. And over here is the Robo Rock. It shows you that it's cleaning the mop pad and then it's gonna start cleaning. There's another one. It didn't quite get it, but I do have this one doing three passes. And there's the dream with his arm extended, getting really close to the baseboard. So what they do is they go around the entire perimeter of your room and then they go, then they start making the back and forth lines. Yep, it did a good job. So it's gotta go over that paw print. That was a muddy paw print. It's gotta go over it a few more times. So now it's going back and forth, making the lines. So when it's not doing the edge, the arm is retracted. It's not extended when it's just mopping normally. And so I've put down some more dirt and debris, some dog hair. We still got those muddy paw prints it's got to work on. Okay, so the Robo Rock's gonna, it's got its mop washed and it's gonna come out and start cleaning too. So it's putting down, it's mopping right now too and vacuuming. So it's going over that muddy paw. Not too bad. Left a little bit, but again, it's still got to go over it a few times. And so again, there's the Robo Rock. We can't see it, but it is vibrating that pad back and forth. All right, now the dream is coming over here where I've got the dirt and debris. Okay, so the Robo Rock's doing the edge, and the Dream is done with the edge, and it's going, doing the middle. Did Dream did a good job. Both of them do a good job of vacuuming. Okay, so I did put some more muddy paw prints down. We're gonna see how the Robo Rock does with them. And the Dream's doing a good job vacuuming and mopping. Yeah, the Robo Rock does a good job of vacu or, uh, mopping also. Yep, it got those up. Now we can see in the app that they're both giving us, showing us exactly where they are and what they've cleaned. So the Robo Rock got tired of hitting into the dream and it just came around the whole room to get to this part here it needs to clean. Okay, so they've both finished. I thought they both did a good job of vacuuming and mopping. It's gonna come down to features, especially when we do the next one of going over to carpet. The Dream's gonna leave its uh, mop pads behind. Now they're both gonna come back here and wash the mop first. Starting to wash the mop. So that's the Robo Rock, and here goes the Dream. And both of these take about two minutes to do that. Start charging. Start auto emptying. So the dream is auto emptying. So the Robo Rock, it's gonna clean the, the brush pad first, then it's gonna turn around, and then it's gonna 
uh, turn a vacuum cleaner on to take everything out of the robot. Now the dream does take a picture of the obstacle and it sends you, uh, it shows you on the map. The Robo Rock doesn't take a picture, but it will give you, it show you where the obstacles were. See there, it said there was an obstacle. All it does is just say there's an obstacle there. Start to dehydrate mop pads. Okay, so the dream just said it's finished. It's dehydrating the mop pads. There's a little fan that's going to blow hot air for two to four hours, depending on what you've got it set, right on that mop pad to dry it. So the Robo Rock is still cleaning the mop pad, and it, I'll show you here in a minute. Okay, so the Robo Rock said the mop is done washing. It takes about a minute longer. It's going to turn around now. This is how it normally docks itself, and it's going to blow hot air out those little vents to dry that mop pad. And it's going to charge. Charging. Now here's when it empties its dustbin. It's a little louder. Okay, now let's go tell them to clean some carpet. Start selected room cleaning. Start selected room cleaning. Now the dream's gonna do something really cool. It's gonna drop its mop pads off. The Robo Rock, it can't drop the mop pad off, but it's just gonna go over there and lift it up and start vacuuming. Yeah, I'm not sure why the dream undocks itself, but then it goes back right back and docks itself. Now this is the cool part. You'll hear a clunk. There it is. There it is. Now the RoboRot's gonna go clean that room. The Dream's got its mop pads removed now. See, no mop pads. They're right there, and it can put them back on too. Now we got a dog toy. We're gonna see if it avoids the dog toy. We got some dog hair, confetti. First thing it's gonna do is gonna go around the perimeter of your room. And there's the Roborock. Now it has to leave its mop pad installed, but it does lift it up. It just doesn't lift it up super high, so it does kind of drag on the carpet. There's the dream. It, its mop pads are removed. Robo Rock's catching up to the dream. Robo Rock moves a little faster, looks like. And the Robo Rock is louder on my vacuuming carpet. Alright, here they go. So the Robo Rock does sense it, but it kind of moves the moves it out, so it kind of touches it. It doesn't really avoid it. And so when the dream comes up to it, it doesn't touch it. It sees it, then it avoids it. And then it's, it'll back up and go away from it. And the dream will eventually take a picture of it and send it to you. Yeah, see it keeps sensing it and turning around. The Wilborock's trying to avoid it a little bit better this time. Now here's the dream app. See that little blue icon? It takes a picture of it and says there's an obstacle there. That's that picture right there. Now the Robo Rock has really good suction. It's over there picking up all that confetti, 
and, and that dog hair that was on the floor. And there's the Rubble Rock app that shows you that it went around something. Okay, so the Rubble Rock is done. It's going back to the dock. Okay, so both of them are done. They're going back to the dock now. The Dream's taking the shortcut. The Rubble Rock's kind of going around the long way. The Dream just travels a little faster, too. There comes the Rubble Rock. Now the Dream's gonna reattach the mop pads. Dreams auto emptying and the robot at the same time. Okay, so my pick right now, it's February 2024, is the Dream L20. I love it. Now, that is pretty big for a base station, but I love what the vacuum cleaner does. Now, I did some tests, some real world testing and the Dream will avoid dog poop. The Roborock will not avoid dog poop. It runs it over. The Dream does, it doesn't avoid it every single time, but man, nine out of 10 times, I think the Dream will, where the Rubble Rockets, maybe one out of 10 times. I do love that the Dream, um, its mop pads stay there at the base and they spin. But you know, the Rubble Rock does a good job of mopping. I, I gotta give it that. The Rubble Rock's a little bit more expensive. It's retailing for 1600 and it's usually on sale for 1200. The Dream, 1500 normally on sale for 1300 now both of these companies have brand new ones they're improving both of these models it's february almost march of 2024 the dream just released theirs today and robo rocks i'm sure not too far behind so i'm going to be doing a comparison with both of them again the robo rock then the app on the i don't like the app on the robo rock it's a nice app but they've been i've been having so many problems with it uninstalling reinstalling it i've never had any problems with the dream app the biggest problem on the Robo Rock is I it, the map just sits there and spins. It won't load the map, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. You, can, if you don't want the Dream to take pictures, you can turn that off so it won't take pictures. So in my real world testing, these videos get really long because there's just so much to show on them. The Dream got an A. The Dream got an A minus. The Robo Rock got a C. So I got a whole testing procedure that I do with them. Please empty the used water. Now tank one th thing I'm finding out is that dirty water tank i was kind of leaving it till it gets full you really want to empty that a little bit they do start to stink a little bit both dirty water tanks but they're super easy to clean you just take them over you know empty them out take them over the sink and, and wash them out really good i bought both of these with my own money that way i can give you an honest review of both of them i would send the robo rock back i might keep it just for future future testing i'm keeping the dream i absolutely love it it is going to be our vacuum cleaner that just does everything up here in the house does the carpet linoleum everything again check out those i got a re detailed review on each one of these i also show you how to set it up um setting them up was relatively easy they're pretty straightforward with that and they got also this i love how it has a solution tank the dream has a solution tank the robo rock you've got to add the solution yourself it's really they don't really show you explain it in great detail on the bottle it's in it's in liters. I show you in the setup video, but it's kind of complicated. Where the Dream, it's not complicated. And even with pad lifting, the Robo Rock only lifts its pad five millimeters. The Dream, I love that it can take the pads off, but even if it doesn't take the pads off, it raises its pads 10.5 millimeters. So that's a lot more. So biggest thing is, if you, know, if you have a, a dog that has an accident on the inside, if you've ever had a, a robot run over like a poop, that your dog left, it makes a mess. So if that's a problem, you're definitely gonna wanna get the dream, something that will really avoid that. But the Robo Rock, you know, it does okay if you don't have that kind of thing. But I found it with obstacle avoidance, even with cables. With a cable that's plugged into the wall for a lamp, it was just, it almost, it almost pulled the lamp over because it just got all tangled up in it where the dream would avoid cords um, and a small cable on the floor and everything. Again, links to both of these in the show description notes. 
Look for my future videos. I got more comparisons, detailed reviews. Now the maintenance is due on these. Once a month, you're gonna have to clean that little tray. I already got a notification on the Dream to, to it's telling me to clean that little tray down there. So, and I can't tell you enough, the Dream has that undock button. You just press the button, the robot undocks itself. Now you wouldn't think that'd be a big thing. But over here on the Roborock, I mean, that thing's heavy and you gotta pull it out. It's kind of, you know, I don't like messing with it. That's the way to do it. Give me an undock button. I love it. And you can add a little solution or add a little solution and water down there and clean it. Then it sucks it back up. You know, both of them do that too, but well, I'm not sure if the Roborock does. Maybe it does it in the app. I'm not sure. And again, look at the plug-in. The Dream has a 90 degree plug-in where the Roborock's got that great big one sticking out, you know, sticking straight out. Anyway, be sure and check out my Instagram page, Just to Dad videos on Instagram and on Facebook group page. I'm also on TikTok. I do short videos on TikTok, kind of have fun over there. Instagram, I do free giveaways on my Instagram channel. When I'm done with these products, now I'll have to keep these products for a while because for testing and future, well, this one's just gonna be my, that's gonna be the one that's gonna clean my house. So I'm not gonna give that one away until I get a better one, but um, I do free giveaways on other products there. Again, I buy these with my own money. This is not sponsored, this is not, I bought these. These are super expensive. I can't get them all at the same time. I gotta buy like one a month. And then I, I, you know, I do all the videos, how to set it up, the maintenance on them. So be sure and check out all those videos. It's just step by step. Again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could get a thumbs up, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this. And thanks everybody for watching. Somebody's taking a big nap. Oh, she's so tired.